All right, so this video is going to show you how to set up multi-WAN in its three different modes. On the Setup tab, we've got Hot Standby, Load Balance, and Dynamic. The first mode we're going to go over is Hot Standby. This is basically how to prepare secondary connections in the background so that if your primary connection fails, those secondary connections will be immediately used to keep you up and online. And then once the uh, primary connection reconnects automatically in the background, your internet is going to go back to that primary connection. So it basically always uses your preferred connection when available. So on the setup tab, you've got the multi WAN column, and you simply check box each internet connector that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to use WFR control. And it's important to move things up in the order that you want them. So whatever's in your first position is your primary source. It's always going to be used when available. Everything else is secondary. So I'm going to use my cellular air card as my second source and internal Wi-Fi WAN, which is the built-in go-to. I'm going to check all those. Again, I have hot standby selected save the changes and uh, now pretty much everything will configure in the background but you can also go to the main tab and then connect to the desired networks so on the main tab I'm going to choose all the connections for each of my uh, internet connectors so my go-to I'm going to connect up to my iPhone my elite I have connected to this network here and then I'll also connect my my air card after multi WAN is configured with hot standby you're going to see your primary connection highlight in green also under the online status and then you'll see your secondary connections which are all ready and prepared to be failed over to you'll see them indicated with a uh, flame icon or they'll be highlighted in orange. All right, to configure load balance, this is really the easiest to use feature. It uh, uses the full speeds of all of the internet connectors that you have selected on multi-WAN. Once you have that selected, you go to the main tab, connect your devices to the desired networks, and then it will do the rest for you. Once multi-WAN is completely configured, you have all your connections established, they'll be indicated and highlighted in green and you're going to see under the internet status all of the different internet connectors that you're currently using next we're going to show you how to configure dynamic dynamic is a little more complicated basically what dynamic does is it sets a threshold that your primary internet source when that is exceeded through your primary source then any secondary sources will start to boost your internet speed. So let's just set this at 2 megabits per second and the threshold time, that's the average time that this has been um, set over, so if I exceed over and 2 megabits per second average within one minute, that's when all of these secondary sources will kick in and boost my speed. So this is basically a more complicated mode, but it gives you the ability to boost the speed of your primary source and not use it when unnecessary. And that's just going to show you online through your primary source.